Hi! In this video, I would like to show you how to estimate a basic Bayesian regression in R using the R star arm package. So first, we load a bunch of libraries, the tidyverse, performance, C, bias, plots, and the teaming. And the fundamental library that we're going to use for the estimation, the R star arm package. And then also, we're going to use the Woolrich library, okay? All right, let's first uh, get some data for estimation, okay? Let's say our data is called df, and then we're going to use the Woolrich library and then use some alcohol data, okay? Then, all right, let's First, attach the data, df, and then view the data, okay, df, right. So in this data set for each individual, we have like unemployment rate, age, education, marital status, family size, and bunch of other things. Were, so. For an estimation, we're going to take some of those variables and estimate a basic Bayesian regression in R. Okay, so let's come back and call our model M1. Okay, let's say M1. So in this package, this R stand R. So each estimation command stands with starts with stand. Okay, so we say stand, and then let's fit the model okay so first we put the dependent variable so let's say unemployment rate let's put age education family size let's say family size uh, family size All right Let's also take the marital status, okay? Let's also take married. Right. Let's take married. And then in the second stage, we uh, assign the prior values, okay? Let's say the prior is, let's say it's a normally distributed variable. Let's, and also for intercept, we also assign the... Uh, normal distribution and then finally we put the data or df okay so if i uh if i come here and press control enter then r will start executing the command and it will finish okay so one important point, this R star arm package is completely written in C++, so de therefore it's really fast, okay? So in this estimation, so uh, we've made 2000 iterations for each chain, okay? By default, there are four chains and in each chain, we apply a 2000 iterations, but R will burn 50% of these iterations, okay? So having estimated this model, we come to the uh, di model diagnostics. Okay, having estimated the model, so we're going to look at the density, Okay, so I'm just going to run this line. Yeah, so in this case, we get the posterior distributions for intercept, age, education, family size, and married people, right? And then the second step is to get the comparison for posterior versus prior okay so if I run this line so 
I get the posterior and the prior prior and posterior values for each variable okay so now the variable I mean the values seem to be very close to each other so this could stem from the scale effect because we have 100 and minus 100 okay so let's just in, in exclude this intercept and see what happens okay so to do that we're going to um, use the pass command so with this pass command we only include the age education family size and married okay so we're in other words we're going to exclude this intercept variable so if i run it this time so you see what happens so for this priors so we get um a line because of the standard error of the prior value i mean it's it's valid for all uh, variables the third one is the model check all right so in this case we have like observed y and the replicated one so uh, just using this graph you can see um, how well you capture the dependent variable okay and one last thing is the statistical significance i mean in bayesian regression we do not have those standard um, statistical significant measures but we have some pseudo measures okay so the one pseudo measure is the probability of direction okay so let's run this one all right the variables with the probability of direction higher than 98 percent are statistically significant so in other words intercept education and the marital status are statistically significant i mean if you compare them to frequentist approach so you can even plot them okay so this is how it is